Alrighty then. Uh, welcome YouTube. Today, I'm gonna be showing you. Oh, actually, this is a fucking bot intro. Anyway, so I joined this here playing Hearts of Iron. Uh, New DLC came out about a month after the fact, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to play Bulgaria in multiplayer, the meta for Bulgaria. So let's get right into it, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, so we can go left to right. So first thing, research wise. Technical computing, construction and, and production. Basically that's it. Uh filling factories or construction, you just build the subs. Uh government you'll click national focus. You are going to rush down to economic protectionism, so how the design. Your units. You just put them in the center. You take out four of them though. Sign to a new guy. Put it in the thing here. And give him this general. It needs to be this general though for the matter to work to its fullest, so. And you're going to buy steal off of Germany because you're not using your factories for anything. Delete all your production line and just produce guns. And you should be set. Okay, Pal to the Tsar is done. Now you're gonna do a point right wing ministers. Uh after that you are going to allow the Agarian Union speech and you're gonna give this general Ambusher once you get 15 command power. His entrenchment doubles now, so. Okay, you're gonna do a joint act with the Agarian Union. Um, we're gonna continue doing these. Uh, decisions because right now we don't need our political power because we're not getting any so Okay, electronic me mechanical computing is done. I can do mechanical computing Okay, joint act with the Grand Union again Okay, you're gonna legalize your Grand Union now Okay, point right wing ministers is done. Now I'm gonna do economic protectionism because you want 10% civilian factory speed and minus 50 uh, cost on the economy. Switch, you know, we're not using political power that much, but we want to save as much as we can. So, if you want to get stuff cheaper, then do it. Basic machine tools is done. Now you're going to go to dispersed industry one. Okay, now you're gonna legalize the national social movement. Because we want to get as many, we want to get like the national social movement, and we're gonna get this Zveno as fast as possible. Okay, now I gotta fund the national social movement. Okay, construction one is done. Now I'm gonna research construction two. Okay, so we're gonna get worker strikes. You're gonna do the top one because you don't want to lose stability. That's the main thing, you don't want to lose stability. Because you're going to have like, little of it. You want to get as much as possible, and save as much as possible. So you can do the first one, because you're not producing anything, you're not constructing anything, so. Okay, economic protectionism is done. Now you're going to do support the Spanish coup. And, you're going to go on to partial mobilization. Look at that. Instead of 150, it's now 75. And you still have 66 left, so you can continue doing these decisions. Okay, now you're going to appoint National Social members. Ok, 
Okay, spot Spanish coup is done. Now you're going to do cooperate with the Zveno because they will give you a so like the Zveno faction will could stage a coup if not integrated in time. So you want to do that soon after you do Spanish coup. And you're also going to send these four guys to Spain. You're going to do joint act with the National Social Movement. Okay, now during the Spanish Civil War, there's a couple of things you want to do. One, you want to give a field marshal, doesn't matter what kind, like this guy, who cares. Like, you want to give this guy, or you want to send the general over to a um, garrison order. It's got area defense, but just put garrison order in a neutral country, so in this case, Portugal. Set a front line to the Republicans. On the Republicans, you know, make a front line order, it's whatever. And now, once these guys are on the front line, they give planning bonus, and you command, command, can command more of them. The second thing you want to do is you want to grind for... You want to grind for at least... 10% of engineer, at least 10% of engineer, because during the Spanish Civil War, once one, or like, you know, once it's completion, you get plus one stats on everything in this general, so plus one level, attack, defense, planning, and logistics. This guy turns into a field marshal, and you can do officer core roles. And the one you want to go for is entrenchment specialist. Now, over time, like, depending on how long your game is, the most you'll get is Entrenchment, uh, Expert. Yeah, I think the most you'll get is Entrenchment Expert, which is the second option. But, in like any normal, the only thing you get is Entrenchment Specialist, which gives you a plus three Entrenchment bonus. So you want to get this, and you need at least... 10% of the engineers to do so. Which, which is which is something I realized after multiple playthroughs. So you want to send this guy over to a river. The rivers over here is like this area. So you want to send here to there and to there. Hey Cropper, the Zeno is done. Now hmm. Next thing you want to do is get rid of army restrictions as fast as possible, so you can do acquire modern tools. You can also go to allow Zveno speech. And... Actually, you need to save up for power, so... So, as you can see... This... Nope, not that. But as you can see... Your guys and your troops now are getting planning bonus from that field marshal, so... So, yeah, you want to get at least 10% Engineer for you to get Entrenchment Specialist, which is what you're aiming for. Okay, now you're going to do Joint Act with this Venom. Now, you don't have to win these battles, but you have to grind on them for a while. So. And if it looks like one's at, like, 95% completion, you stop the attack because you level up faster that way. I don't know how. I don't know if... Paradox fixed it, but this is what you usually do. Okay, now you stop. You let the guy org and get entrenchment, you let yourself org, and then you attack again. Okay, acquired modern tools is done. Now you're going to do negotiate, Bulgaria, and rearmament. You're also going to allow Zeno speech. Now you're going to do bolster to Zeno. Okay, this plus one is two, and mechanical computing. We're going to wait so we can use the bonuses on construction three. So in the meantime, we're going to do... Hmm. We're going to research engineer company two very early. We are also going to research... Radios. For reinforcement rate and coordination. So. Okay, engineer is 11 now. But now all I gotta do is just level up 
this guy as much as we can, so we don't really need to... I mean, getting Engineer on this guy is good, because it gives you Scavenger. I mean, you can get, like, more equipment. Okay, um, we're getting... Um, is done. Now we are going to... So we're going to do National Military Industry. Case funds, Veno. Okay, I'm gonna do demonstrate a policy of the piece. I'm sorry, I feel like completely forgot that. So I'm gonna do that as quickly as possible. So I can get like, you know produce shit. Okay, going to establish this Zeno's shit. Gives you minus five war support, but it's fine. Um now you're going to do improve road systems. Okay, now you're going to appoint Zveno members. Okay, now we're going to use 50% bonus on <clears throat> Construction 3. So now, for building, we can... Now, after you build those sieves, you're going to be just building mills for the entire game, because you're going to get mil uh, sieves from Macedonia, Southern Serbia, Central Macedonia, and Thrace. So... Plus, maybe Morova and Serbia too. Kosovo. So, you don't really need to produce many sibs. Okay, now I can do fund Zvena. Okay, improved road system is done. Now I can do integrative national industry. Also, okay, demonstrate a policy of the peace isn't done yet. Around the time uh, policy of the peace is done, um, in any multiplayer game, all you gotta do is there's another decision where you gotta like negotiate army restrictions, which the UK always has to agree. But since this is AI, what you do is you improve relations, and then it'll just give you, you know, it'll just and they'll give it to you. So, okay, negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. Okay, radio is done. Now you're going to research. Dispersed industry too. Okay, um We're gonna stop improving relations with the UK. So we can get political power. We're gonna do integrate this Veno and then we're gonna wait fifty. We're gonna wait to get fifty political power so we can use it on pressure left arm restrictions. And I know you're saying do you have to continue improving relations? No, as you can see here it goes by, by three a month, and we already have 62, and we get one a day. So the 50, it'll get, it'll only be minus six, which is still above the 50 mark. We'll get like 55 over negative 10, and you need like at least 20 over negative 10, so we'll be fine. Okay, we're going to go to this. We're going to go to land doctrine. Actually, no. We're going to go to Spirit of the Army and do Professional Army Corps. I should have done that sooner, but it gives you plus 5% army XP, minus 5% cost on the Lane Doctrine, so you get it cheaper, and more command power. Okay, Integrative National Industry is done, now I'm going to expand the Sophia Industry to get an extra research slot. Okay, after this, we're going to edit our template to just be I-20 with. That's it for now. Just a 20 worth. And this Veno has been integrated. Now we're going to fund the National Social Movement again. And we are going to click on the Military Theorist. Now this is 35. So all I gotta do is wait a little bit. Okay, uh, Sophia Industry is done. Now, let's see. How far away? 200 days. We're going to save the 30 days so we can juggle the engineer company too. Uh, for focus wise, we are going to do. We're going to do allow far right organizations to integrate the Ratniks. And we're going to joint act with the National Social Movement. Oh, also, forgot. Um, you can now c convert these guys into the um, infantry templates now. So you want to do that soon. Okay, now you're going to do joint act. 
Oh no, we can do integrate the national social movement. Okay. Good juggle this. Now you're gonna go on to computing machine. Juggle this with that. Yeah, after you get 35 XP, you wanna get the uh, grand battle plan for another 10 entrenchment. Gonna do the top one. Uh, this first two is done. Now I'm gonna do improved machine tools too. Okay, allow for organizations is done. Now I'm gonna do integrate the ethnics. Okay, now you're going to fund the Agarian Union, and you're going to get the status adapt for political power, consumer goods, and daily fascism support. Okay, integrate the Ratniks is done. Now what you're going to do is path towards a Greater Bulgaria for war con. You also you're going to go to infantry expert with your political power to gain a little bit more army XP. Okay, now that this war is concluding, all you gotta do is like level up your guy as much as possible. So you have forty percent. I got in this game. I got forty percent engineer. It's not the worst, but it certainly can be better. Okay, now that we're producing positive guns, we're going to take multiple factories off of guns. We're going to put two into support equipment, one into trucks, and one into trains. And we are going to buy steel off of Germany, because in a multiplayer game, we want to give Germany as many sieves as you can. So that's what you do. Okay, as you can see, this... Uh, after you go to Civil War, this event pops up. Brave Bulgarian Volunteers, blah, 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 blah. So, now that guy that we had gives plus one skill, attack, defense, planning, gets a field marshal, and gets a random trait. In this case, it's Hillfighter, which actually is good because the DA wall... Well, they did, they did all those planes. Yeah, a lot of it's planes. I think, like, this area is... Oh, yeah, hill. You got hills all over here. Boys. The best thing you can get is Force Buster. Because a lot of France is forced. So. But, yeah. So that guy gets a field marshal. Now we can go to the army corps. We can go to actually no, hang on. Let me go to the general. Okay, we can go to army officer corps. Hang on a sec. Okay. Go to defensive doctrine. Army corps entrenchment specialist. Now, we go over to our um, chief of army, and there he is, entrenchment specialist. Plus three entrenchment. Click on that, and now we get even more entrenchment from this guy. He'll fight a... When we get tricks, so we get improved expert, which is also good. So we're going to not click any traits right now, because... Well, up the field marshal takes a lot of time, so... Production, we're going to put more into support equipment. Um, for the next XP, uh, get theater training because, well, you're going to want to get a lot of stuff, like a lot of traits. So, um, now I'm going to split these guys off from the four and send them off to Japan. And you want to give them this guy. Now, you build more mills, and you fund the Agarian Union. Okay, division sent, blah, blah, blah. Now, for this guy, for this general that you sent, this guy, you want to get him to... You want to give him an inf infantry leader, because you want to give him ambusher, so... 
guy, this guy. I think, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah I want to get this guy infantry leader, so... Like, remember, area defense, I sent to Mongolia, front line, the entirety of these things. Offensive line, all the way down to Yunnan. And you send these guys over here. Uh, let's see, research, uh, you do blah blah blah. blah. Artillery, because you're going to be producing anti-air soon. Engineer Company 2, you're going to research Engineer Company 3 ahead of time. Path towards a greater Bulgaria is done. Now you're going to do Bulgarian Interatism. Because you need like at least 50% to stay in war economy, and you're at 47, and you're going to get this. So, and that means demobilization, which means that focus was for nothing. You're going to have to waste 50 political power and you'll get strikes so um for the next army xp i think going static warfare for extra entrenchment and entrenchment speed is better construction three is done you're gonna research now but you're gonna research reconnaissance next because you're gonna recon gives you about what do you call it? Reconnaissance. Which means you'll be able to anticipate the tactics that D the um, D-Day forces will use, so you'll be able to defend against them better. Okay, joint out with the Union. Union. Yeah, I'm still 64%. Computing machine is done. Now I'm gonna research... Gonna research improved infantry equipment for more soft attacks. The thing I also realized is that um, when it comes to defending, you want to give get the highest attack. Now, I know it sounds weird, but when you're defending, you're also attacking. Meaning that your attack and your defense adds up. So, if you have, let's say, 150 defense and 30 attack, that actually equals to 180 defense. Because when you're attacking, you're also defending. It's paradox logic, I don't question it. So, when it comes to your commanders, like this guy, it gives you plus 10 attack, but plus 25% defense. You might want to get the highest attack guy. Like for like, you call it, for like chief of army, when you're doing any country, you want to get attack rather than defense. Because you're always going to be attacking, you're not always going to be defending, so... Next thing, um, the Bulgarian interatism is done. Now we're going to go down to war logistics for two year head bonus on support technology, which you're going to use on the engineer companies. From the Aegean Union, don't forget to do those. Also, I think now, I realize that um, this build is going to be a pure infantry build. I'll do a Bulgaria tank build using this meta as well. In another video, but for this build, just infantry, we only need to focus on the infantry military commanders. Oh, also, once you send these volunteers to Spain, and that's Spain, China, um, consolidate these guys so you can get like as much equipment as possible, as so much equipment and manpower. Next, we are going to do army logistics for more. Army XP and for less supply usage or less situation. Total artillery is done. Now I'm gonna research anti-air, and I was looking at to see this focus. That's from Alliance. Okay, so you're not gonna get any factories because you're not doing dispersed industry yet. So what you're gonna do in the meantime is just build infrastructure because well, better supply and you get like a little bit more resources. So. Okay, wall logistics is done. Now what you're going to do is go down to dispose of the czar. Now you're gonna do integrate or appoint again union members. It's gonna switch this guy out. Secret support weapons and da, 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 da. here you go. Two hundred and forty days. 
I'm gonna grind for urban because a lot of these coastal tiles are urban. Like the ports. Like Bordeaux is urban. Nance is urban. Breast of the Fourth, but Sherbourg. Like all of Normandy ports and then yeah the Dutch ports are urban. So I'm gonna grind urban assault. Okay, improvement to equipment one is done. Now you're gonna do about uh, gonna do this disperse industry three. I know it says uh, doctrine is available. I'm not going to do it because I want to save as much XP so I can use it again. Just go down the line and do it. Okay, now you do military dictatorship. For now, you don't click anything. Um, recon 1 is done. So you're not going to click any of these. Like You're not even going to look at this tab for a while. So now you're going to do... Let's see. You're going to do advanced machine tools. And for political things, you're going to go to, I guess, industrial concern. For more research speed on this, on industry. So. Okay, now you're going to do integrate the Agarian Union. Total to anti is done. You're going to start producing about, let's see, three of it because. Well, it's 39 and well you're gonna need it so you're gonna do recon and you're gonna do anti-air and you're gonna juggle the engine of company three okay military dictatorship is done now you're gonna do industrial akataki first you do that then you're going to join Germany's faction. Cancel that and then do approach Germany. So I can do, so I can bypass join Tripartite Pact, so I can do bulk gain, peaceful development, and then have a like, you know, unlock it so you can do these focuses fast. It's Germany, waiting for that. Uh, I'm going to send an attache to Japan so I can get even more army XP. Uh, who cares? Top option. And as you can see, this guy also gives you plus 5 entrenchment. So, now we have 75 entrenchment. Okay. Now, since you are Bulgaria, going to get Macedonia soon, you want to do excavation tech. Just keep one excavation check. So, okay, they've been integrated. Now, what we're gonna do is do. Let's see. We're gonna do captain of industry. Because right now we are just producing infrastructure. So, interesting. Okay, approach Germany is done. They were pressed. Now, what we're gonna do is bypass Tripartite Pact and do peaceful development. Engineer Company 3 is done, now I'm going to do Engineer Company 4. Just credit Broad Socialist Leaders. Spurs 3 is done, now you're going to go to... Um, going to Gun 2 now. Now, now since Spurs 3 is done, you're just going to build mills. Get rid of these, let this finish. <laughs> Okay, advanced machine tools is done. Now what you're going to do is hmm. you're gonna go down to the anti down the anti air tree. So you can shoot down more fighters. That the allies will get. The Scudet Bot Socialist Leaders again. Okay, peaceful development is done. Now you're going to Go down to these focuses to get pushed to the Balkans until you obtain the Borgia. Then you're going to go down to Bulgarian Integration. 
are the Balkans, and then restore the Bulgarian patriarchy. And the military industry. Discredit part socialist leaders. And I changed my mind on the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Uh, once you get 85, spend it, go down, and then go to right. Because you're just doing infantry, and this gives you infantry bonuses like you know, land night attack, supply consumption, and reconnaissance. So, okay, I'm gonna do discredit block socialist again. Okay, now I'm gonna put a lot of factories on guns, because you're gonna be the gun producer for the Axis. Um, now I'm gonna do F scab 2, because you wanna save. One research, for now, one research is going to be on XCAV tech. The other one's going to be on anti-air tech. Because those are the two main ones you need. Also, I'm going to... I'm going to, um... Say this now. So I don't get any backlash for it later. The reason I'm not putting... Like, I know about the support tank meta. Like, if you don't know... The support tanks give you... Plus... Insane bonuses on terrain tiles So you can have just a pure infantry with a uh, Flame tank and you can go over marshes with no debuffs, which is crazy But the thing is is that most multiplayer lobbies will classify that as a space marine. So On this gameplay I'm using is For a multiplayer standpoint what you need to do by multiplayer rules now, a lot of these rules, you don't know, so you want to read them. But after you read them, like, read them thoroughly, every other lobby is going to have about, for like, eight of the ten rules they have are going to be the exact same in every multiplayer lobby. And one of them is going to be no flame tanks. So, unless it specifically says, or unless it specifically says don't put flame tanks are considered space marines, then you can put flame tanks in it, if that makes sense. So... In other words, always assume flame tanks are going to be space marines in any multiplayer lobby. So don't bother producing them if you're doing just infantry. Because you're not going to use them. They're going to be a waste of production, a waste of resources. They're going to be useless. And you're probably going to get kicked from the lobby if you use them in your infantry. So it's going to be a waste of time too. Your time, their time, everyone's time, and everyone's fun. So just don't produce them. And plus you're building tanks. Then you can produce them and just put them onto your tanks. Okay, anti-air upgrade is done. I'm going to do anti-air 2. Okay, reorganize the military industry is done. Now I'm going to do rebuild the army. Because now you're going to get minus production cost for land doctrine. Plus 5 could pop. And you get limited conscription for free. So. Uh. Gladly accept whatever it's fine as. We can send them back to Germany if you want. Um, send your civs to Germany still. By the time war starts, you want to get this guy to infantry ex leader. So you want to get this guy to ambusher by the time war starts. So I'm attacking this tile because it's river, which means I get engineer, and it's urban assault, meaning. I get urban assault specialist and attack with infantry, so infantry. So I'm getting three trains into one go right here. Ban broad socialist media. Also, I don't know why. Here's something I realized. When you're defending, you get better experience than when you're attacking. I don't get that either. Which is another thing that you should gotta be careful in mind. So you might want to defend more than you can attack because you get your experience faster. Prison bot socialist leaders. Oh, also now you want to create some units. Now you can do ambusher, point outcome, whatever. Uh, now I get another five entrenchment. Now I can do raid against bot socialist supporters. Gun two is done. Now I'm gonna research infantry equipment two, and then probably gonna use the next bonus on infantry equipment three. At this point, after you get this guy, you don't really need to be in this in the uh, Chinese, you know, Japanese Chinese war. So you can like join the war. That general, this 
Field Marshal. So the army is done. Now I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna do this focus. Gives you mills and gives you more support and infantry equipment. Also, 35 on that. 35 on that. And I'm gonna wait. Rally against Bart Socialists. XCAV 2 is done. I can do XCAV 3. Okay, anti air 2 is done. I'm gonna go to anti air upgrade 2. Or 1. And I can continue giving your civs to Germany. As a minor, don't expect to get civs back from the major. So, like as Romania or like as Bulgaria, don't expect to get trade backs from Germany. Because, well, your job as a minor is to support Germany. That's it. Applied socialists are destroyed. It gives you stability, political power. Next thing I'm going to do is going to take ambitious negotiator. Fascism, political power, and improved relations. You don't need improved relations, but political power and fascism support is what you're going to need soon. Okay, you have this focus done. Now you're going to do this focus. I'm not a military university. Gives you a lot of XP. Gives you cost reduction for land doctrine and research slot. So this military factor is going to be done. So we're going to just build infrastructure because you know we have no more building slots left. Now in a multiplayer game, Hungary and Romania would already be in the faction, and you would already have like these units on the ports. So. The fact that we're here, just forget about it. But in an actual multiplayer game, these units would be on the D-Day wall. And Romania, Italy would be take Yugoslavia, make Greece for you. Okay. I'm not going to research, hard research, gun 3. For the access, it's going to be a year. You're going to shuffle that, and you're going to shuffle Engineer Company 2. Engineer Company 4, actually. Now, you're going to do the band or historical claims. Tashes, fuck that. It's minus 25. Look, well, who cares? Am I going to lose those two islands? Okay, this focus is done. Now, you're going to do support Macedonian organizations. And you're also going to spend armored operations. Going to wait about. For 50 more XP, they're going to use it on that. And next piece of slot, you are going to use it on... We're going to use it on... Reconnaissance. Yeah, next one's going to be Reconnaissance. Okay, now the Macedonian thing's done. Now I'm going to do... Found DVF Sport. And you're going to do... These focuses now. Or these decisions, I mean. Make contact with the IR members. And you continue giving your civs to Germany. Because right now you don't eat them, so. Yeah, this is taking longer. Usually they, well, usually the AI gives me. Usually, usually I get, uh, Debosia, like, in late 39, early 40. But this is fucking late. XCAF 3 is done. I guess about that. Now I'm going to do... Improved computing machine. For more research speed. Okay, Recon 2 is done. We're going to wait 30 days so it can juggle Engineer Company 4. Okay, Supply IMO Activists. I think about 30 days aren't even up yet. Also... You're going to want to do Elastic Defense as a preferred tactic because you get minus 25 tactics movement, minus 15 attacker damage to you, plus 10% defense, and it counts as blitz and massful blitz, meaning that any tanks that come from like either Canada, South Africa, US, maybe even UK, like those tanks will be um, less effective than before so okay now you're gonna shuffle we're gonna do we're gonna do signal companies 
and they're gonna shuffle back to engineer companies. Signal companies for more reinforcement and initiative. Okay, we will have our revenge. Finally, this is open. Now after this, now we're going to do Bulgarian integration of the Balkans and rush to restore Bulgarian patriarchy. Okay, improved anti-air upgrade 1 is done, now we're going to rush to anti-air upgrade 2. Now we're going to do prepare Bulgarian occupation. Yeah, I spent the 150 on this guy because, well, one of these such as fast, but when you finish pressure of the Balkans, this actually gives you uh, attack and, as you can see, it gives you attack and defense buffs on your infantry, so. Okay, Bulgarian integration of the Balkans is done. Now, gonna, now you are going to do restore Bulgarian patriarchy. Yeah. Um... I'm going to attack them because I want to level up a little bit, my guys. So, and you know, four is done now. I want to save 30 days so I can shuffle that gun. Probably with the Germans. <laughs>
Yeah, so both getting picture hockey is done. Now we are going to go to push up the Balkans. Okay, now we can do attritional containment, which the only thing gives you positive is org. So the next one is going to be reconnaissance, and reconnaissance is good. You're not going to do any of these because you want to get Macedonia, and these won't give you any buffs if you don't have Macedonia. Well, they give you buffs, but not as much as they can give you. So, for your political power, for now, I'm not even going to do anything. Might use it for extensive conscription. Now, since okay, it is on your side. Okay, now we're gonna send a lot of these guys. What I like to do is send a garrison order for this, not this, but just those two. So we'll send it to like Bordeaux, all across the D-Day coastline. Actually, not even that far, because they're only going to invade, like, this area, so. Now, I know it says 39, and you have 28, but these guys are going to prioritize the ports first. And without the ports, the attrition, so. Okay, so, we're going to go to extensive conscription, and do that. Okay, now, this is as much entrenchment as you're going to get in a multiplayer game, 117%. It's still a lot. It's double... Well, it's not double, but it's two-thirds. What do you call it? You have two... You have 66% more entrenchment than the next guy. So. I think the second country that can get the highest entrenchment is, um... Italy. Italy and the UK are the two second... Well, Italy, UK, and Russia are the two second countries. That I can get the mo the second most entrenchment. So. Oh, also, you want to switch over this guy to the the um cavalry, get and get rid of the motorized, because well, in this DLC, you need as much motorized as you can get, so because of supply. For now, we'll just use that. Crush the Vulcans is done. Uh, take it the land lease, whatever. Now you're gonna do. I would actually do defense. Well, after this, you don't really need to do anything. But I think Third Bulgarian Empire is the next because you get sieves and mills and factories, which you, you are gonna need. Now. Now we're going to do garrison duties, because the next, because the other decision, I did it, gives you 12 with infantry, which isn't, which is only half as good as our infantry, so, and we need manpower, so. Okay, signal company 2 is done, now we're going to do reconnaissance 3, and we're going to equip our units with, oh, not yet, we're going to wait for XP. After we get, okay, support weapons one is done, they're gonna support weapons two. But after we get the final land doctrine, we're gonna switch this to. Well, we're gonna switch it to elevated engineer core, but then. Yeah, elevated engineer core for more entrenchment speed. Actually, no, we're gonna do state service military for the conscription cost. And political power again. Now we are going to add signal companies to our things. Producing trucks, right? Yeah. The only manpower is the issue. Space Industry 4 is done. Now you're going to do assembly line production. Okay, construction 4 is done. Now you're going to do Escav 4. Okay, um... You don't click... Actually, you know what? You click the artillery expert, because you need the extra army experience, so... 
Okay, third Bulgarian Empire is complete. Now, what you're going to do is, next one is going to be defensive lines, because lines, you're going to need anti-air and infrastructure. Because some games they have um, strat bombing and, you know, strat bombing sucks. So, getting one anti-air in all these states is a good idea. I guess it's just command power, right? Oh, no, it's political power, shit. Advanced anti-air... One is done, now you're gonna go to... You're gonna go to military police. Um, we don't need to really save up political power right now, so that's why I'm doing all these, but soon you will, so. Support weapons 2 is done, now you're gonna do support weapons 3. Even without the insane general, we still have 100% entrenchment, so. It's fucking amazing. Um, what I'm going to do is switch this guy over to here, because the Russians like to invade these three ports, so. Defensive lines is done. Now, we don't need those. Now you're going to do industrial Akatsuki. For minus two consumer goods and remaining ships. Mainly for the consumer goods. Look at that, 900 defense. Oh, they're not even fully entrenched yet. <laughs> okay, fatherland fronts here. Yep, okay, so fuck that focus. Yeah, fatherland front, so what first thing you do, crush the communists. Next thing you're gonna do, root out fatherland sympathizers. And finally, you are going to do anti-communist raids. Soviet naval invaded fucking Mamel. That's fucking funny. That is funny. Crush communist is done. Now, you're not gonna pick. Actually, you're gonna do. Bulgarian nationalism, and then go down to women's suffrage. You're gonna do massive arrests now. Some line production is done. Now you're gonna go to, I guess, signal company fees. They were really trying to naval invade. <laughs> XCAF 4 is done. Um, now you're going to do... You're going to do anti-tank 1 for piercing and heart attack. It's not going to matter much, but it's better than nothing. This ability is going to take a major hit. But because of Bulgarian patriarchy, it's going to go up by 1 every day. So Every week or day. Week. Now, inf now, okay. Now you finished my battle plan right side. So now, after you get thirty um, army XP, then you can switch over to states of military. Okay, support weapons three is done. Now I gotta go on to support weapons four. Recon 3 is done, um, you still got 2 years before you can do Recon 4, so now you're going to do Damn, I don't even know what you do next! I mean, after this you don't really need to research or anything. I guess researching advanced computing machine. Thousand two hundred defense. Keep from Bulgarian nationalism. Now you're gonna do limit women's suffrage. Gonna do massive arrests. And root out. Actually, I want to see if this is enough. 
Nope. Okay, you're gonna do loot out five lines with that as two. Medic police one is done, you're gonna do military police two. Without out five line sympathizers. Okay, okay now you're not gonna pick a focus, you're just gonna let your political power save up. Okay, infantry anti tank gun is done, now we're gonna do infantry anti tank two. We're 0.04 away and I can't get a weight. I don't know what that was. Um, oh, that was Econ. I guess the next one you do is was his best train. Okay. Support weapons was done. Now I'm gonna do night vision one. Oh, let me put uh, multi police and the cavalry units. Okay, deal the final blow. Final fucking leg. Fireland front is gone. Okay. Now, focus wise. After that, you basically can do whatever you want. Focus wise. Um. But well, I would go down to corporatism. So, industrial agatoki. Route 2. Okay, military police is done. Now I'm gonna do military police 3. Yeah, so you're gonna do service by requirement because that was okay. You don't get a lot of manpower, and you're not producing anything worthwhile. Support equipment, trains, anti-air support equipment, uh, infantry equipment. You don't really need, uh, you know, massive bonuses for that stuff. So I think it's also the mob the mobilization speed from the uh, entrenchment expert. Okay, so industrial architecture is done. I'm gonna do cooperation with Italy. Fast computing machine is done. Now we are actually gonna do atomic research. Because as Bulgaria, the late game, you can do nukes. So. You can do nukes via. Uranium prospecting, which gives you 200% research bonus on nukes, uh, plus 5 research speed, plus 10% production, and plus 10% construction speed. Oh, here's D Day. And look at that 1300 defense. Now, air security and short bombardment is going to affect this heavily, but it's still. 1300 defense. So. Once reinforcements come in, like, Germany is gonna have. Germany or Hungary is gonna have units here. Or Italy. So, they're not gonna be able to push this much, but the fact that just this thin line's holding. Okay, cooperation with Italy is done. Now we are going to do. Corporatism for extra sieves. Oh, uh, do I use this shit on there? Um, I think Calvary now. More resources, gonna be more manpower. We gotta get. Let's take all. Let's take all of um. In a multiplayer game, what I'm doing honestly depends up to what the Axis wants. Because if Germany wants Italy to control all this, then you don't do this. But if Germany wants you to you to control all this, then do it because you get cores and all this, and you get more supply, and more. You get more manpower. You get more. What do you call it? More manpower, more resources to to the access. So honestly, in my opinion, I think Bulgaria take like all of at least like Greece, Albania, and like southern Yugoslavia is a should be a good thing for the access because they're able to get more resources and manpower. 
Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna cut the video here because this is as much as you can do as Bulgaria for you know beginning game. So if you like content like this, like, comment, subscribe. Um, the next country I'll do is probably gonna be South Africa because that's the second country I've been playing most, and then after that's probably going to be Italy, maybe Italy or another ally minor. So anyway, guys, you enjoy content like this. I'll make sure to, I'll, you know. I'll do my best to post these videos on a regular basis. And, you know, if you have any suggestions about countries you want to see tutorials on, you know, uh, leave a comment and I'll guess I'll see you in the next video. See ya.